Go ahead. I think I think there's several ways to go about. I think we lost it. No, just go ahead. Several ways that women can go about building comprehensive strength and muscle strength. Oftentimes we overlook connecting tissue and the joints. And I think a lot of weight training in general has a tendency to put a lot of load on the joints. Another consideration is uh, a flexibility component. But there are, lo there are several ways to go about it that work very well. And a lot of it has to do with stretching. And I think yoga is an effective way to build lean, length, lengthened, flexible muscle, t muscle tissue as you strengthen the joints and the, and the connecting tissue. Personally, I, like, I think Qigong is one of the best things. Sometimes Tai Chi, depending on the instructor, but Qigong moves the energy through the joints, through the connecting tissue, through, actually, if you learn the right stuff, through the bone marrow. So you actually strengthen not just the internals, not just the bones themselves, I mean, that's calcium, and it's important on calcium assimilation and a lot of other things, but you also reju rejuvenate the bone marrow. Now, that's something I've never heard a Western doctor or very, very few Western physiologists ever talk about. There are so many other things involved in strength that my perception of real strength is that when we learn to utilize the energy through our muscles and our skeletal system so that when we lift something we use our entire body at the same time women can become very very strong and not be muscle bound at all mm -hmm. I mean the, the true measure of female strength to me is really accenting the feminine qualities the body, but also creating a utility, a utilitarian capacity that is unusual for most. But you don't have to be big, and you don't have to have large muscles to be really strong. You, you can accomplish a great deal more if you learn how to use your entire body with your energy simultaneously. And that's the primary reason to use that. Now, the Total Gym is a really good machine because the way you, you're usually utilizing your body strength, I mean, your, your body weight, as a counterbalance to your muscles. And, and there's so many things you can do with it. It's, phenom it's really good for the muscle groups in here for ladies and, and in here and, and the lower back and, and to stretch them as they strengthen. Just gradually just stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. It's kind of like if you visualize like stretching a rubber band. You can do you can do two things with a rubber band. You can overstretch it so it, it, it kind of loses its its rebound capacity, or you can you can work it in the range where it's it's most effective. Same thing you can do with muscles and. Kind of, kind of focus on the process of elasticity, and and kind of a a combination of expansion and contraction in the right in the right capacity for the muscle. So the 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 real issue on strength, particularly for the female body, to me is tone, tone and balance, and. And learning to use all of the muscles and all of the body w together, whatever you're doing. However you're using, whether you're, you're turning and lifting something, whether you're reaching, whether you're pulling something up, whether you're lifting. To use the whole body simultaneously. And, and practice it as you, as you develop muscle strength, as you develop skeletal integrity as you develop uh, integrated energy and 
connecting tissue and joints. You can actually build the strength in your joints. That sounds really good. Could you speak uh, just another minute about reconditioning the bone marrow? Uh, you really caught my attention with that statement. It's an energy function. Um, Montak Chia wrote a couple books about it, and he talks about it often. And he's in the Taoist uh, lineage. Okay. Kind of opened the secrets that were held private for many, many years when he first started writing about it. Well, he talks about the golden elixir. Mm, and yes. he, he talk about, he's, he's really describes frequently a process called uh, the microcosmic orbit. Yes. And the microcosmic orbit relates to the energy flow from from the Dantin down around up the back over the top of the head through down through through the tongue down the front of the body circulating this way. Okay, now what's the Dantin? Dantin is the area about two inches below your navel. And so it's not the solar plexus. No. It's below the, the solar, solar plexus. The solar plexus is up here. The okay. dantian is below the navel. Okay. But the, the dantian is essentially a storage tank for energy. I see. And it's, that's a very simplified bare bones description. But there are practices in Qigong where you combine breath, breathing techniques with various postures. After you've learned to activate the energy body under the guidance of a Qigong master,